Hey everyone, welcome back to part 7 of Undertale. Um, we are going to continue from where we left off yesterday. And if you haven't noticed, I did get a new gaming headphone with LED lights on the side. So, um, I think it also has like noise reduction. Uh, this didn't happen last time. Whoa. Oh no. Oh, oh no. What? No. This was another very abrupt introduction here, ma'am. Oh, no, no, no. Oh gosh, oh, okay, I'm supposed to keep... Keep going. Keep going. Oh... Ah! Oh no! Ah! Where am I supposed to go exactly? Jeez. Uh, ah! Alright. Uh. Man. Nope. Ah, uh, this is... This is kind of difficult, because... You can't really see the whole area. You're just blindly just walking. Okay, well... Okay, guys, um... What? Ah... Uh. Alright, where exactly am I supposed to be going here? Ah, and I died. Wow. I was not expecting that. You're going to be alright. Suki, stay determined. Alright, well, at least now I know what to expect when I head over here. But I still don't know exactly where I'm supposed to be going exactly on this bridge. Man, this person with, with their surprise attacks. Uh, Alright. Oh, jeez. I just slow down. Oh no! It got me, it got me. Okay. Alright, well. Um. Uh. No. Just have to avoid the. I don't think this was it. Um. Ah, I got stuck at the corner. Nope. <sighs> Alright, this is really tough. Um, I was not ready for, for this fight like this. It's like this arrows are going exactly where I'm heading. <gasps> Did I make it? I don't I don't know. I, I everything just stopped. What does this mean? Uh Hello? Are you still there? Are you... <gasps> oh, 
Oh. Wow. What a powerful enemy. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down. Haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Suki, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Uh... Whoa. What? What is this place? Am I in the sewer? Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Just garbage. Uh... Oh, safe point. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. During this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination somehow. Trash zone, okay. Um... Oh, looks like a fish here. You re rest your hand on the rested bike. Oh, it's a bike. This horn wheezes a honk of despair. Well, I mean, just the green part of, of the bike kind of is in the shape of a fish. Oh, what's this? A beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Take one? Yes. You got the astronaut food. Wait, can I take more? Yes. Oh, you're carrying too much? Alright. Well, I'm in full health right now. Um, astronaut food heals 20 weight in HP for feeding a pet astronaut. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Uh, no. You stare into each other's eyes for a moment. Uh, oh. Uh. Uh. Excuse me? Ha ha ha. Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable, it spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. Oh great, mad dummy blocks the way. Alright, so I'm gonna have to do some acts here. Mad dummy, um, talk. You talk to the dummy, it doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Futile, 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 okay. Uh, oh shoot, what? Oh. Ow, you dummies. Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you, forget I said anything about magic. Mad Dummy is looking nervous. Mad Dummy attack 30, defense, yes, because there it goes, physical attacks will fail. Okay. So I can't even fight it, even if I wanted to. I'll defeat you and take your soul. So, um... Crap. Uh, the only thing I can do is talk to it until I can spare it. Mad Dummy is doing an armless SKA dance? Mad Dummy, talk. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for a conversation. No one's happy. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. Mad Dummy is hopping mad. Okay. Nope. Talk and nope. Oh man, it's 
feels like a clothing store. We talk, and still not interested. So how much longer do we have to do this? It's getting cotton all over the dialogue box. Still no. Still nothing. What am I really waiting for here? I don't really understand. <sighs> hey guys. Whoa. Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures! You're fired, you're all being replaced. Oh, jeez. Ah, now you'll see my true power. Relying on people that aren't garbage. Mechanical words fill the room. You talk, and he doesn't care. Dummy bots, magic missile. Um. Oh no. Oh no. Hopping mad. Um, I'm just gonna keep trying to talk to this guy. Until uh, he gives up, I guess. Dummy bots, try again. No. Ah, oh, shoot. Dummy boss, you're awful. <laughs> oh no. Ah, ah. Um. Okay. Dummy boss, final attack. Ah. Oh, jeez. Da. I survived. No, no way. These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. Oh snap. I've got knives. Oh gosh. You missed. I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me forever. 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 Ah, oh wow. It's going crazy now. Yo, chill. Chill, mad dummy. What, what the heck is this? Erg, acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, <gasps> Napstablook! Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. 
Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no, Naps the Bluke, you're like, you're my favorite character. Thanks for coming to the rescue there. I'm really glad I uh, talked to you before and just like listen to your sorrows. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want, but no pressure. I understand if you're busy, it's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Kind of reminds me of Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. His personality. <gasps> Yay, save point. Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see, or in case you don't. <laughs> oh, of course I want to see it. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. Well, this area is quite calm. I like the music here. After all that mess. North Bluke Acres, East Hotland. Question mark, Temi Village. Uh, wait, I think he went this way. Uh, what? It's locked. Where did he go? What? Oh, I see him. This, oh, well, the shadow. Ish. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Hmm, snail pie? Snail, snail, a long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail, reach for, far and stretch beyond the horizon. Snail, snail, so snail with Sam Buell. I've been long overdue for a second house. The snail is counting dollar bills. Rich little snail. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Bluke Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Snail race? Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails are race, and if a yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10 G. Sure. Okay, press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Ready? 3, 2, 1. Uh... Um, I'm not even sure which one's my snail, guys. This is it the. The one that's like not moving, because I'm pushing Z like crazy right now. It's my fingers about to break. What the heck? This is rigged. Did I win? Oh, looks like you encouraged your snail too much. What? What? What do you mean I encouraged him too much? All that pressure to succeed really got to her. So I stressed my snow out, and uh, it refused to, to race. Oh. This is a ripoff. This is a ripoff, guys. I, I'm not playing this again. Do you want to play? No. No, Napsta Bluke. No. Oh. Trick me once, but you won't trick me twice. Um. Ooh, oh. What? 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 It's a living... Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Okay. Scary looking house. So, what happened to inviting me over? You can't come in. Alright then. Guess the only way is this way. Um. Sure, um. What is this? Wait. Dog residue? When did I pick that up? 
Dog residue, dog item, dirty dishes left unwashed by a dog? Why would I even use that? I'm taking that out of my inventory. I don't need dog poop. Um. Whoa, what's over here? Nothing. Uh. Okay, so I guess up here. Well, there. I've got some neat junk for sale. Uh, what are you looking for? Hmm. Torn notebook. So I'm not looking for weapons, but um. Cloudy glasses. Yes. Mm. CT. Crab apple. Um. Undyne, yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid, and buy some items, so it just might save your hide. Wahaha! King Fluffy Buns? He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh, why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it, but if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered by then. That emblem. Eh? You don't know what that is? What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? Wah ha ha. That's the Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. Wah ha ha, great name. Ah, it's as if, it's as I always say. Old King Fluffy Buns, can't name for beings. Oh, new. That emblem actually predates Ren history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. The prophecy? Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it, an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook. Calling that winged circle the Angel of Death, a harbinger of destruction waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. <laughs> I've been around a long time, maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. <laughs> okay, I think we know enough now. Be careful out there, kid. Thanks, old turtle man. Um, okay. Have we been this way? I don't think so. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrender to the humans. Seven, seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There is only one way to reverse the spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barriers, it will be destroyed. Okay. But this cursed place has no entrance or exit. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. But I'm human, right? Or at least I think so. Oh. Huh? Huh? Oh, so that's what they do. Now I understand. Special enemy Temmie appears here to def defeat you. It's like a trembling cat with a wig. No thanks. Uh. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, so I have to go the other way then. Small, long time no see. Ah, shoot. Huh? Uh, without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. Uh. What? Shoot. Um. Oh. Oh. Mm, nope. Just have to keep hitting the lamp. Ah. Uh. Oh no, no! Crap. Uh... I am totally lost now. Um... know which way to turn. There's nothing that I can use to even see where I'm going. Wait. Oh. Uh, lamp, please. Where are you? I need the lights. Alright. I'm like aimlessly walking now. Super lost. Um. Oh, <gasps> yes. Okay, wait. Um. Wait, 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 wait. Please don't go dim yet, please. Okay. I only have a little bit of time before the next... Um... Oh no, 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 no! No, darn you, no! Okay. Ah. Uh. Is it this way? <gasps> I think I got out of there. But it's still dark. Um... Huh? Behind you. Oh no. No. Oh jeez. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. Ah. Oh. Well, time's up. <laughs> With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. <gasps> oh no. No, please don't. Ah, Undyne, I'll help you fight. Um, dinosaur? Yo!
You did it! Undyne's right in front of you. You've got front row seats to her fight. Okay, dinosaur, no, now's not the best time, but um, if you could just help me out here, please. Wait, who's she fighting? Uh, hey, you aren't going to tell my parents about this, are you? <laughs> okay, that was a close call. Um, wow. <laughs> and that was the last thing the flower got. Uh, okay, so... That was it? Oh, I can go up here. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, if I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. However, there's a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return, and the underground will go empty. Okay. Uh... Huh? Yo! Oh! Dino! Hey there! Thanks for saving me, buddy! Gosh. That was a really close one. Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but... I wanna ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before, um... Yo, you're human, right? Haha. <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now. I mean... Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something, but I kind of stink at that. Haha. <laughs> Yo, uh, say something mean so I can hit you? Please? No. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I, I hate your guts. Man, I, I'm such a turd. I'm, I'm gonna go home now. All right. Bye, Dino. Yo, whoa, whoa, wait, help, I tripped. <gasps> oh no. I should run. I should run. Undyne, you... You saved me. Huh? They ran away? Yo, you're wrong. They went to get help. They'll be back any second. Uh, okay, I'll go home. Did I? Did I leave the guy? I mean, I don't know. Was I supposed to leave or, or confront the boss lady there, because I don't think I'm ready to. Oh. What is this? <gasps> seven. Seven human souls, and King Asgor will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected this far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. Well, this is going to take a while. Um, we're going to go over 30 minutes this time, because um, I wasn't expecting to uh, run into Undyne here um, at like the last few minutes that we had. So yeah, here we go. We'll learn about this tragic tale together. It all started long ago. No. No what? Screw it! Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? Nya! Oh, gosh. Oh, please don't kill me. You. You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alfie's history books made me think humans were compassionate. But you? You're just a remorseless criminal. You wander through the caverns, attacking anyone in your path. Self-defense, please. You didn't kill them because you had to. You killed them because it was easy for you. Because it was fun for you. Do you think it was fun when I found out? Do you think it's fun when people's family members never come home? Is that fun? No. But your time's up, villain. You won't hurt anyone else. A knight in shiny armor has appeared. In all the pain you inflicted on the fallen. Every hope. Every dream you've turned to dust. She's gonna send right back through your, her spear. Nya, nya, I'll send 
I'll sh show you how determined monsters truly are. Come on, step forward and let's end this. But I didn't kill anyone. Ooh, save point. I didn't kill anyone except like Toriel and that was only because I thought I couldn't spare her or something, but I guess I could have um, if I like tried hard enough the second time, but I didn't know, so sorry. Um, but that was it. I spared and fled from every other monster, so. The wind is howling. You're filled with determination. Safe. Alright, so we're gonna stop here at Undyne's Arena. And, um, next part, I guess, is the intense battle scene between me and her. Um, let me see. Okay, so I'm not sure. Oh, wait, let me equip this first. The glasses. Um,. Oh wait, I had the ban I did have the bandana, okay. Defense 7. So wait. Let me check. What what about my um other one? Just wanna check real quick before I end this. So that one's seven defense, this one's six. Ah Oh, but it increases inventory by nine, so um, after you get hurt by an attack, you stay invulnerable. Oh, okay. Well, actually, that might be better then. Because the other one only has really just one armor defense. Uh, yeah, so. Um, Okay, so, um, yeah, we're just gonna save that again. And then if I run out of, um, items, I'm gonna go back to that turtle man and buy some more. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this part and, um, hope it was enjoyable. Um, stay tuned for the ultimate fight with Undyne that I've been dreading. So yeah. Uh, take care, you guys.